Hello, my name is Callum Semple. I'm a professor in child health and a consultant in paediatric respiratory medicine at Alderhey Children's Hospital. Yes, we're seeing a lot of children with asthma and respiratory problems, including infections such as bronchiolitis and pneumonia. And there's quite a lot of research evidence to show now that the presence of small diesel particulates and the, uh, the NO gas from car fumes is associated with increasing the risk of these problems and increasing the severity of these problems for children. Well, they're more likely to have wheeze and asthma. They're more likely to get severe bronchiolitis and severe pneumonia that makes them come into hospital. So we are seeing parents bring their children to our clinics and they themselves are recognising that the closeness that they live to these busy roads uh, is causing problems for their kids' health. We, we think that the reason children are suffering more is because they're shorter, so they're closer to the ground. Children actually breathe a little bit faster than adults do for their size, so they breathe in more of the fumes and the particles than the adults. There's another problem that children have. They're, they're growing, their lungs are still developing, and any insult to a developing lung will result in that lung not developing quite as well as it should. Now we thought these problems only really happened in children as they were walking around or toddlers in pram, toddlers and kids in prams. But we now recognise that the problems are occurring even when the baby is in the mother's womb, just from the mothers being exposed to these tiny, tiny carbon particles. Well, it's, it's very hard to give advice to individual parents because it's not really their fault. It's not something they can do very much about. This is more an issue for society and everyone's got to do their part. So perhaps people should think about getting a hybrid rather than a diesel when they buy their next car. Uh, they should walk more, cycle more, rather than taking one kid in the school, one, one kid in the school run. Um, perhaps we should be thinking about parking further away from schools and getting kids to walk in. Uh, but then there's other things that we could do a, on a wider scale. We need to improve public transport links and we also have to have uh, wider standards throughout the country on air pollution and, and enforce these. So it's, it's really about everyone doing their bit rather than wagging a finger at individual parents because it's not their fault that their child's getting asthma or bronchiolitis or pneumonia. For more information on what you can do to reduce your exposure and contribution to air pollution, visit www.letscleartheairliverpool.co.uk.